yeah. Very deep question. He is now trying to point out that even the toss of a coin is itself a chaotic machine because whether it falls as head or tails depends on extremely small changes in the initial conditions. I toss it a little higher, the wind blows a little harder or the coin is a little oilier or it lands on its edge and falls this way or that, a little tilt here or there will tell you finally what the decision is. So, in that sense, yes. The very paradigm of a random machine, the coin toss or a die, is itself a chaos machine. Yes, that is true. Now, <laughs> we are going to get deeper into this. I am I'm lying a little bit. We do not know how to define a random number. Okay. So, we will come back to this over and over again. There is really no satisfactory definition of a random number at all. On the other hand, there is no satisfactory definition of what regularity means either. If you give me a piece of music and I ask you is this random or not, what are you going to tell me? Hmm? If I play a piece of music up to a certain point, there is no way that you can tell me what the next note is going to be. Of course, if you know what the piece of music is, you know what it is. But if I give you this sample, this little strip, I could argue that this entire piece of music up to this point was a realization of a random process and now it is going to differ from what the actual original piece of music was in the next instant. But if you give me a finite string, there is no way of telling. So, in that sense everything is random also. So, we are going to assume that we have a paradigm of randomness called the Bernoulli trial. How I produce it is a different question altogether. If I produce it with a coin and I am extremely accurate, with, I know everything about the coin, then of course I can tell you whether it is going to be heads or tails and of course you would be able, to, you must have enormous computing power to be able to do this. That is the whole point. You have to tell me with arbitrarily high precision how I toss the coin. Then I can predict. Hmm? Have you read this book called The Newtonian Casino? How many people have read this? Hmm? Well, in the early days of chaos, a bunch of people in the US tried to break the Las, uh, Las Vegas uh, casino system which is of course run by the mob. So, it is dangerous to try to do this by smuggling by cross sort of in the early days they, they had wired themselves and they had a computer program which would actually calculate where the roulette wheel is going to stop and they tried to break the casino by doing this by putting in the initial conditions and solving these equations numerically to see where it is going to end and so on. It is now illegal to do this because it is very dangerous and illegal to do this because it is possible to some extent to make predictions. But to the extent that these machines are more and more sophisticated chaotic devices, it is harder and harder to do this. In principle, you need infinite precision to do this, right. Okay. Well, that is a good conceptual 